everyone, my name is Summer. Um, today I'm gonna be doing my very first YouTube video. Um, I've never made one before, so this is something totally new to me. Um, don't mind the my dirty room. Um, anyway, the past couple days, Bath & Body Works has been having a huge sale on all their three wick candles. Um, they're originally $24.50, but these past couple days, they have been on sale for $11.95. I ended up grabbing a whole bunch. So today the video is going to be about um, Bath & Body Works candles. I'm going to kind of show you all the ones that I got and um, explain like the keynotes in it and which ones I like and which ones I don't like as much, but we'll go from there. Um, I also, if you download, sorry, I can't even talk today. If you download um, the Bath & Body Works app on your phone, whether you have Android or I believe um, iPhone, you can get points. The more you go into Bath & Body Works, they scan and the more points you have, you can earn free things. So I ended up getting two, five free single wick candles, which originally they're $14.50, but I ended up getting five for free. So that's actually really good, guys. Um, one of the ones I ended up getting, I know it's pretty popular and the scent has been around for a good couple months, but it's called Strawberry Pound Cake. This I ended up getting in the lotion and perfume and to be honest it's not my favorite in the lotion or perfume but I really do like it in the candle scent and also in the um air wall scent but yeah the candle it smells super amazing compared to the lotion or the perfume but yeah it smells really good and the keynotes in this strawberry pound cake candle is fresh strawberries golden shortcake and whipped cream amazing especially if you could get something like this for free i also ended up getting since it's almost fall they have come out with so much fall stuff uh, halloween candles tons of fall candles pumpkin spice latte and once again sorry about you know how I'm talking today. I'm kind of just all over the place having an <laughs> interesting day. It's also um, super hot where I went to the Bath and Body Works uh, over in Rialto, California. I went there today, but I live up in Lake Arrowhead. And here it's actually a lot cooler than down in San Bernardino, Rialto area. This one's called Pumpkin Spice Latte. Sorry, Pumpkin Spice Latte. And I had to get this because it, it smells super good. It smells like the pumpkin spice latte during Thanksgiving time, I believe. Starbucks comes out with it. That's exactly what this smells like. It smells super good. It's almost like I want to eat it. Um, but the keynotes in this is fresh espresso, pumpkin pie, whipped cream, and sprinkling of cinnamon sugar. Interesting. All right. Now bear with me, everyone. <laughs> this is going to be a long video. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, but if you really do like my video of all these candles, please like and subscribe down below. This one's called Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Another one I got for free. I actually ended up burning this one a little bit today. Um, it smells super good. My boyfriend came in our room uh, for a couple minutes and he said, oh my God, what are you eating? <laughs> um, he thought I made waffles, but it's actually the candle. The keynotes in this is maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. You might have to get another one of these. And then another one is Caramel Pumpkin Swirl. It's actually really cute. I love the decorating on this package. 
And the key notes in this is luscious caramel, ground cinnamon, rich brown sugar, and creamy vanilla. This one is really, really good. Super amazing. I love it. I get more caramel in this than I do with um, cinnamon. I like it. And this one's super popular too. This is going uh, fast. It's called Leaves. The keynotes in this is crisp red apple, golden nectar, and warm clove. I don't know, there's something about this that smells more like Thanksgiving to me, but I love it. It's just different. It smells so good. All right, and now on to the big candles. This one is called Cranberry Woods. I love the um, picture on it. It's so gorgeous and beautiful. And then now with the lids, they like put mountain in the back. And it's just super cute. The packaging is amazing. Um, usually after I finish candles, sometimes I keep it. Uh, and just save for decoration. I know that might sound weird, but that's just something I like to do. Um, with this, I get, I definitely get cranberry. Um, Keynotes is tart cranberry, cinnamon bark, which I don't smell any cinnamon for some reason, uh, forest cedar and golden amber with essential oils. But yeah, if some of you have this candle, um, please comment below and let me know what you smell. Uh, I really don't get the cinnamon, but definitely the cranberry, and I love it. it. smells super good. And then this, I had to pick up because, surprisingly, this is actually going super fast. Um, I ended up putting it in my bag, uh, Pumpkin Donut Shop. I put it in my bag and then I was walking around for a little while in Bath and Body Works and realized like at first I didn't really like the scent like it kind of I was just like ew it smells kind of weird but I kept smelling it and smelling it and for some reason I don't know it just stuck with me like it smells super good it literally smells like a bakery shop bakery really good you guys have to buy this. If you like um, like bread or donuts or something, please get this candle. You'll like it. You won't regret it. Um, but the keynotes in this is glazed donuts, warm pumpkin spices, sprinkled with powder sugar with essential oils. Really good. Might have to get, pick up another one of this. All right, on to th the third big candle. Now this, I was super happy um, to see a couple Halloween candles in my store, or which is the closest store to me since I live in Lake Arrowhead. It's about 45 minutes away, um, but I'm like away from a lot of stuff. This is called Vampire Blood. Definitely getting ready for Halloween, um, even though a couple months away. But I love the bats on it uh, and the trees in the background, it's really cool. The keynotes in this is Blood Red Strawberry, Midnight Blooming Jasmine, Dark Transylvania, Transylvania Plum with Essential Oils. Now correct me if I didn't say that right. Hmm. I don't know. With this, I'm definitely getting more of plum than I am with strawberry. But it's really good. It's different. Now the fourth one is pumpkin apple. I had to pick it up. Um, this is also super cute too. The keynotes in this is red delicious apple, fall pumpkin, fresh ground cinnamon with clove buds. Hmm. Okay. This actually, I'm a little bit bummed. Um, 
not my favorite, but it does smell good. Um, with this, I thought I would smell more apple than anything. That's kind of what, why I picked it up. Um, stupid me didn't smell it in the store just because I thought I'd smell more apple. But that's kind of my fault. Um, I'm I'm not disappointed though. It smells really, really good. I'm just smelling more cinnamon than I am with apple. But I am getting a little hint of the apple as I smell it a little bit more and more. Um, okay, now this one is called Autumn. I love the decoration. <laughs> Decorations, oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> Okay, I love the labeling on it, um, super cute. Like I said, it has this cool background. And then the key notes in this is bright red gala apple, juicy fig, eucalyptus leaf, fir balsam with essential oils. If I didn't say that correct, please let me know in the comments. Um, hmm. That's interesting. I smell more eucalyptus in this than I do with the apple and juicy fig, but that's just me. Everyone smells things a little bit differently, um, but really good. I like it. I can't wait to burn these. I'm so excited. Okay, I picked up another Halloween candle um, called Perfect Pumpkin. It is so cute. It has a little black kitten on it with pumpkins in the background. I love it. And the keynotes on this is perfect pumpkin, black cat's clove, ghostly vanilla, and batty brown sugar. Mmm. Okay, I'll be honest, with this, I do not smell vanilla at all or any brown sugar. Um, I smell more clove than I do with anything, yeah more clove, but it is really good. And also, um, not that some of you guys might not care, but um, I am a tattoo person. I love tattoos, um, love the art on tattoos. For my birthday this year, I actually um, ended up getting Jack and Sally added onto my arm. Um, the guy did super amazing job so so happy um and it also was wasn't that bad of a price to get the full thing done i sat for four hours but i didn't flinch at all um but yeah came out amazing so yeah i'm really excited for halloween okay another one i got is vanilla pumpkin marshmallow okay once again, another candle I did not smell in store. I just thought it would be pretty good. But this kind of reminds me of the vanilla bean lotion. So if you already have that and you know, you don't like it as much, or if you do really, really love it, then get this candle. Um, anyway, the keynotes is Tahitian vanilla, pumpkin spice, homemade marshmallow, and drizzled caramel. I do not smell marshmallow and I don't smell pumpkin spice or caramel. I just, all I'm smelling is vanilla. Maybe a hint of marshmallow, but that's pretty much it. But it doesn't smell bad. This I think could actually be an all year round candle. And then another one I picked up, I was so excited. Pumpkin peanut brittle. So cute. And then has the pumpkins. This has crunchy caramel brittle, salty peanuts, toasted pumpkin seeds with essential oils. <sighs> it's like sweet and salty at the same time. Like, hmm, <sighs> just so good. I want to like, I want to eat it. I know that sounds crazy. If only we could eat candles. If only they were edible. <laughs> Um, it's kind of weird, but anyway, yeah, super, super good. I definitely smell the, um, 
brittle, like the caramel and the salty peanuts. Super good. I love the sweet and salty smell. And then um, this one I actually ended up picking today. I was super excited. Um, they haven't had this in the store the past couple days. And so today I also went down and saw this and it's called Welcome Home. I didn't think I would like it. Um, I thought it would be kind of like, eh, welcome home. That sounds kind of whoop-de-doo, like, you know? Anyway, the keynotes in this is cinnamon sugar, warm apple butter, clove buds with brown sugar. Now, I'll be honest. I've smelled this now four times. I do not smell any of those keynotes in this candle at all. I'll tell you what I smell. Coconut. Now, there is no coconut in this candle, but that is what I smell. And I am a big coconut fan. Like, I love coconut. I eat coconut by itself. Um, love coconut alcoholic beverages, coconut cookies, anything. Anything coconut. And that's why I had to get this. Um, I'm super excited to light this one. All right, here's another one. Now, blueberry, I'm a big blueberry fan. I have my own blueberry coffee. <laughs> and I even have blueberry candies. But yeah, so I'm crazy on blueberry. And I have a blueberry um, spray from last year from Bath and Body Works during Christmas. I had to get like two blueberry sprays and two of the blueberry lotions. That's how crazy I am with blueberry. But this is called Blueberry Maple Pancakes. So cute. I had to pick it up. I might need to get two more of these. So I'm going to burn it fast. Um, anyway, Wild Blueberries Griddle Fresh Pancakes Warm Maple Syrup. It makes me just want to get up in the morning and make blueberry pancakes. I'm happy with this one. I definitely smell the blueberry and a little bit of maple syrup in it. Super good. It's making my mouth water. Don't mind my hair today. It's a little wild and crazy. Now this one is pumpkin vanilla cream. I know I have tons of pumpkin stuff already, but uh, this I had to pick up. Creamy pumpkin vanilla cream. Fresh ground nutmeg graham cracker crust. Mmm. Now with this, it's pretty light, but I love it. Um, due to I definitely smell the nutmeg and graham cracker. I get a hint of vanilla and a little hint of pumpkin, but I smell more nutmeg and graham cracker than I do with any of those other notes. But um, yeah, I'm super excited about this. And it's less strong too. It's not very cinnamony, which I'm happy with. I do love cinnamon, don't get me wrong. But some cinnamon candles are a little bit too much for me. Like too overpowering. Um, but yeah. And then this one, I didn't think I would like either. But it's called Acorn Lane. Super cute for fall. Um, I love the, like I said, I can't talk, but I love the background on the candle. And then just, you know, normal Bath and Body Works top. Keynotes in this is autumn leaves, warm cinnamon, crisp gala apples with essential oils. Ugh. This just, I don't know, it smells like Mmm, smells amazing. It's getting me excited for fall. I definitely, in this smell, I don't know what a leaf smells like. I know that sounds crazy, but uh, I don't know what an autumn leaf is supposed to smell like. <laughs> anyway, um, I get cinnamon and I do get a little bit of the apple in it. So that's perfect. I'm excited. Now, my last two candles I ended up getting, I had to get two of them just because 
uh, they are going extremely, extremely fast. And everyone says it is, they're raving about it. I've seen so many other YouTube videos of people raving about this candle, but banana walnut muffin. Super, super good. Um, like I said, watching other people's YouTube channels with this one, um, a lot of people are saying they don't smell the banana at all. What they really smell is more cinnamon than anything. So some people are a little disappointed. But um, with me, I smell full on banana and I'm super happy. Like, yeah, I had to get to. So yeah, I'll definitely be using these, but um, this has sweet banana, golden nutmeg, cinnamon sugar muffin. With this, I, yeah, I smell more banana than anything um, with a hint of nutmeg. I do not smell cinnamon at all, but that's just me. Like I said, everyone has their own um, scents with their nose. Well, that is it for today on my first video. Like I said, I know it's long. Um, I'm sorry about that, but I hope if any of you guys watch, I hope you really enjoyed my first video. Like I said, I'm not really good at this, um, but you know, it's my first video and I'm trying my best. Uh, but once again, my name is Summer and nice to meet all you guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.